And for those who have joined and not logged in, probably by now you'll have an idea who I am. I'm that mad Franciscan monk that spends all hours sitting in front of a web camera at midnight, especially here in the UK. But I welcome you. I welcome you to our vigil for peace that all faiths will come together and will embrace each other in love and that we will come to the supreme through the cathedral of nature the landscape and the animal kingdom God's little helpers and that we will find peace in our own heart share that peace with all of God's children regardless of the color of their skin their religious belief or their gender orientation for we are here not to sit in judgment but to embrace each other in our vulnerabilities and in our availability as a child of God but first if you have a candle, I would like you to light it. And we will light it for peace, especially in the Middle East. And especially for the women and children and the men and all faiths, especially the Shiite and Sunni Muslim in Syria. For there is such disquiet in that land and such unnecessary suffering for the children of God. They may have a different name to my God, but it's the same God. It's the same Father, Mother, God, whether it's Allah, Yahweh, the Supreme Source, doesn't matter. What matters is they are my brothers and sisters, our brothers and our sisters. And we have a duty of care to hold them in our hearts so we light our candle for peace and we dedicate this flame of love from hearts filled with love and we light this light for global peace and into spiritual unity in the name of our beloved father mother god supreme who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life, in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life, in the name of Gaia who is the Earth Mother that nurtures the creation of all life, in the name of all faith traditions who are the beloved sons and daughters of the Supreme our brothers and our sisters. We celebrate our spiritual diversity by welcoming and honoring the Supreme in all life. And we welcome you to this vigil for peace. Let us be still. Let us relax. And let us celebrate our divinity as a child of the Supreme. For that is what you and I are. We are a child of love, a child of the light, a child that is loved, is respected and is valued, valued. And it's sad that so many cannot see that, for they are afraid. So let us remember those who live in fear for those who are sad I would like to dedicate this to you it's by John Michael Talbot he was a Franciscan and he lives the contemplative life but he travels the world singing ballads from his soul and I would like to dedicate this particular track to you and it's called I found my beloved 
let us just quietly relax and listen to the words.
has been My spirit has been released. Those words are beautiful words. And they're words spoken to your heart and mine. Each and every waking moment. The Father, Mother, God is the Beloved. And they're calling you and me the Beloved too. For we are loved. Do you feel that in your heart, that you are loved by a supreme being who created you, who formed you in your mother's womb, and who breathed the breath of life into your soul? You are a child of God. And you are loved for the beautiful being that you are. But the head won't let you feel that. Because the head is full of conflict. The head thrives on drama, crises, fear. The heart, once it's surrendered to the supreme, it only knows love. For God is love, Yahweh is love, Allah is love. And Gaia, our earth mother, is love. Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Magdalena, Isis, they are love. And they're calling the children of God to unite to unite and release positive energy into the world, into a universal plane of consciousness that is being deceived by the father of lies, by a negative force that is destructive, that is evil, for it seeks to devour the children of God and destroy them as is happening in Syria, Afghanistan and nearly in every country of the world there are the deceivers they're even within one's own family many families can name one individual that has re wreaked havoc I know we can in our community where we've been tested like gold in a furnace where the evil one has tried to destroy us and all it takes is one person one person so you and I are called to surrender our heart to the beloved and I would like to read to you a beautiful channeling from the Cosmic Christ. These words are true, otherwise I would not read them to you. And these are personal words. They're an invitation to your heart from the heart of the Cosmic Christ. And I grant you heaven, look around and savor, it is yours by right, you call it for, you call for insight, I give this gift to you now, let all the outer world drop away, be still and be with me in a peaceful center and when in that place you will come 
to an awareness of oneness with all of life. For you will connect with me. You will connect with me. Let me take you on a journey of delight and discovery. For gone will be the heavy cloak of unbelief. Gone will be the tiresome instructions of obscuring negativity. Let its replacement fill you, fill you with wonder. Step into that world and know that it can always be as this. Yes, for it is here that I would converse with my own. Here in the tranquility of creation, for here truth may be imparted, and that all know these things, that every child of God know these things, for I come to you in love. I come as your friend, your brother, your teacher. Let all know that there is but one God who resides in their hearts and in the greater heavens. Countless would discredit this communication. For their aim is to destroy all that is holy, all that is of truth. The task is to overcome, no matter the obstacles, all must be overcome. The cost too high not to heed, the road unworthy, do not travel it. Great is the sadness that has seeped through many hearts. Fight all with the courage of knowing truth. But what is truth? What is your truth? Fight all as they come one after the other, for it will be as this. For a strong is the love, strong is the fear, but none can know the turning point of the despairing heart. Darkness is but testing of the soul, and the soul that is lost cries constantly and woefully for love, divine love. I am that love. Let all know, I am that love. Furthermore, I would have you acknowledge your own past. I ask you now to stand in my name. I ask each and every one to question every thought, every deed. Question and if the answer lies uneasy upon the heart, reach out and ask for direction. To all who ask in simplicity, in sincerity, the answer will come. Therefore call upon me when you are in confusion. Call upon me when your path is unclear when your path is clouded. For all will become clear, all will be as the radiant sun. Therefore walk fearlessly, for who could harm or dissuade you from your path? When you walk hand in hand with the God of all, Know that you cannot fail, 
for I am at your side. Those beautiful words were channeled to a dear friend of our community several years ago now, and each time I have read them, and I have read them many times on live stream, but each time I read them, you can feel the heart of God speaking to your heart. And the words are truth, and they come from love. Let us relax now. Let us sit quietly in our sacred space. And let us call on the Cosmic Christ, but let us call on Magdalena, Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Isis and Gaia. Let us ask them to join us, for we are soul travelers, and the road is rocky, the road has many trials, and disappointments are strewn along the way. There is rejection from people you love, from those whom you love. And there are misunderstandings. You will also encounter hate and fear, and you may see the face of the evil one, as I have, the father of lies, who tries to deceive innocent hearts like yours and mine. So let us now come as a beloved of God and let us ask the cosmic Christ and the divine feminine aspect of God to come to us and touch us, to empower us, find our true self, discover who we truly are. And when we find who we are, that we are given the courage to honor our heart and to become an ambassador for peace, let us be still. And let us listen to our heart. Our heart is the gateway to our higher self, the gateway to God, the gateway to the mystical heart of God. You will see behind me a heart shape in blue lights to signify the indigo color of the cosmic Christ. Look beyond me and focus your eyes on the heart. Don't be surprised if you do not see him, for he is there. And many have seen him, and he has come to them, and he has touched them. So in silence, let us ask the cosmic Christ to show you his face, to show you his heart, and for you to allow your heart become twinned with the mystical heart of God, the mystical heart of Yahweh and of Allah be praised. Let us now be touched by the Cosmic Christ, who dearly loves you and me. Let us allow him this opportunity to touch us. 
where we are at now, in our vulnerabilities, in our disabilities, in our insecurities and fear, in our sadness and disappointments. Let him touch us. Be willing to surrender to this amazing love. Feel his love here in your heart, your teacher. Come, O oh beloved Christ. You have searched for us. You have called us by our name. You have called Om Shanti, Donna J, Snow Cloud. You've called Miriam, you've called Eleanor and Elizabeth. And you've called Mary and those watching. You have called us by our name to sit here together. I know you're here. And you brought our soul family together so that you can touch us. I praise you with all my heart and thank you, O oh beloved my beloved, our beloved. Thank you for touching us, for placing your seal on us. Almighty God, O Prince of Peace, you are Alpha and Omega. You are our beginning and our end. You are our truth. Empower us now to speak your truth, to become your truth. Breathe on us, O breath of God. Fill us with life anew that we may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Father, Mother, God, in the presence of Gaia, Kuan Yin, Mother Mary, Magdalena and Isis, in the presence of the Lord Buddha, Vishnu, Ganesh, Krishna, and all of the Ascended Masters, in the presence of the company of heaven, we thank you for touching each one of us, for your anointing and your blessing on our lives right now. Blessed be the name of our God. Blessed be the woman who bore your son and blessed be those who are willing to surrender their hearts to become ambassadors of peace. You are the Christ, the cosmic Christ, the Deliverer, the Light Bearer, the Kingdom Builder, the Peacemaker. Thank you for blessing those who have joined me here. Thank you for touching their lives and filling them with your healing touch. bless you, Lord Christ, and I thank you. Father, Mother, God, as we hold this light in your name, we hold it in recognition of your goodness to us. 
and we celebrate our love for you. The blessings of heaven, the blessings of earth, the blessings of sea and sky be on those whom we love this day and on every human family the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts from brother sun and sister moon be in our hearts now and forevermore. Amen. 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 And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of our vigil for peace. I thank you from my heart for allowing me into your space and all I ask, will you please pray for me? Thank you. Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxit Bona, Om Shanti, Salakam Laikam, Peace, and may the peace of God enrich your hearts your family and loved ones and I pray that you will see the face of the beloved the cosmic Christ until we meet again God bless you